Hello NLCC Walnut Grove Sound Techs. I just wanted to demo the very beginnings of our usage of virtual sound check, which is a feature that um, needs a recording computer that's recording 48 channels at a time and playing back 48 channels at a time. Um, and it's a feature on the board that makes it really easy to implement that. So I'm going to demo all that. Um, the first thing to show is, as you can see, the iMac that was upstairs is down here. We had to upgrade our um, projection computer. So this iMac has been brought down here. Um, we have a login called Sound Booth um, username with the same password we were using before. And we still use this for the sermons um, to transfer the recording onto the network. And we use this for Spotify music at the beginning um, and end of services. Um, but here are some new things. This computer, um, I've installed software called the Dante Virtual Sound Card. Um, and that software lets the network port basically be used as an um, audio interface. Um, directly through the Cat5 connector. So we need to be on Wi-Fi for this computer for the network, so we're on the staff Wi-Fi network, and the hardwired connection is going straight into our Dante network, which is the lower switch down here in the rack. We have been using the Dante network already, but we've just been using it to bring in four, the four wireless channels. So these have Dante um, capabilities on them, so these um, receivers are on the Dante network and they are being controlled by a software that is set up on here and sent to a card on the back of the board. So the, the board has um, a few, I forget how many card slots on the back and we are using one of those to hold a Dante card. Um, Dante, as we're using it, allows 64 channels out and 64 channels in of audio at the same time. So we are using 61 through 64 for our um, wireless channels. Those will be patched in already. Um, if I select a channel and look at its patch, I can see um, that it is Surface IO port 4, which is the Dante slot 61. As I go through them, handheld 2, 62, 63, 64, and they all have that um, direct sure info that's showing me I can gain up and down, I can see battery life, I can see audio levels and uh, RF levels to see a good strong signal. So those are cool ways we've already been using Dante and digital to integrate um, our receivers um, with the board. But um, virtual sound check is really cool. There's two Dante apps on here. One is the Dante virtual sound card that um, has this set up to be a 48 by 48 um, card on this computer. It could be more, it could be less, but this is what we've got going. Um, and Dante controller is where I've patched these mics. It can see these wireless handhelds. It can see the labs. It sees the iMac as a 48 by 48 interface because of that virtual sound card app. And it sees the DLive surface because that has the Dante card on it. So it sees all the receivers and all the transmitters um, that are Dante compatible. And the DLive surface is making the clocking that makes it all go right now. So I know very little about this right now. I just know enough to get in trouble, so I'm doing it. Um, and the, the big thing that we'll need is this other app. This is a, a program from Waves called Tracks Live. It's like a multi-channel um, digital audio workstation like Pro Tools or Logic or GarageBand, but it's pared down to really only do recording and playing back. As far as I know, you don't do any mixing in it. You don't do any plugins in it. Um, it's just a very streamlined piece of recording software. So when you open this up, you'll see I've made a template called Virtual Soundcheck. And you can open the template um, under um, Documents and Multitracks for now. I've made um, a couple sessions. Test three for now, why not? But this would normally have a date, whether it's a rehearsal or um, a service. 
save it and it opens up. And this template makes it a 48 channel um, board. Ah, oh, what am I doing? So here's what you do on the board to make use of it. Under I.O., under Virtual Sound Check, there is um, 48 channels patching input channels to Virtual Sound Check channel numbers. And I'm using all 48. Most of them are um, in order intuitively, but then just because we can, I've snuck these um, the two computer channels, the iMac and the PC, down here as well. I didn't need to do that, but um, it's possible to do, so, so I'm doing it. Um, three modes for virtual sound check. If it's inactive, it's not doing anything at all. Record send means it's available to hear. And let me just show you what that looks like. I can globally record enable all these channels, all 1 through 48, and instantly it's seeing level on all the active channels, especially 47 and 48, which happen to be patched to um, the PC down here. So it's seeing those levels live. If I go back to inactive, it's not seeing those anymore. So the two things to make level happen are to put this in record send mode and to make sure all your channels are record enabled. So let me just start recording. So I'm recording at the beginning and it's recording um, whatever's coming into this, these PC tracks here. I'll make that really short because it's probably copyrighted and I'm not really supposed to do that. I'm now turning on a mic here. One, One two, two, three. Check, check, check. check. You can see, see it jumping there on channel, looks like 29. Hey, hey, hey. One, One two, two, three. One, two, three. And it's capturing everything I'm recording. Note that it is capturing these channels regardless of what level they're set to or the EQ. It's straight from the preamp. And if I mute it, same thing. I'm not hearing it through the house anymore, but it is still coming up in my recording channels. So that's probably plenty. I can stop that now. I just stopped it with spacebar. And here's what's really cool. I can move this from record everything to just play back and go back to the beginning. I put this in virtual sound check mode and it's bringing all those channels back into the board on their same channels. So now I'm playing back and I'm getting the same music back through these channels and here one, two, three, check, 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 and you can see it. And this is made from channel. before. Looks like I can turn it down, I can one, turn it two, up, three, one, two, three. I can select it. And it's capturing everything I'm recording. Note that it is capturing these channels regardless of what level they're set to or the EQ, straight from the preamp. And if I mute it, same thing. I'm not hearing it through the house anymore. So I can mute it. It is still coming up in my recording. So this isn't playing back the mix that I had made it is playing back the individual channels. So you can multi-track record a rehearsal or you can multi-track record a service and then listen to it later and remix it for yourself or isolate voices. Just have that piano up and nothing else and go, what could I do to make this EQ better? Am I compressing this too much? What if I change that? Then how does it sit in the mix? You can kind of replay that stuff and tweak things, either between rehearsal and Sunday morning, um, or um, you could do it in headphones between services even. Play back a song that from the first service to yourself in headphones and um, listen to how that's going. That might actually be tricky to do. But anyway, I'm just um, getting started with this. Um, I think this opens up a lot of possibilities to kind of grow in our mixing. And then when you're done with virtual sound check mode, you see it's giving you the warning that things coming into the board aren't coming in as you would expect. And I can make this inactive again, and then it gives me control of the board 
back again. Um, yeah, so that is Tracks Live with the Dante interface and virtual sound check on the DLive.